bit noisy. There we go. Oh yeah, this takes me back. Okay, so yeah, next up here on the Jasu Blitz, clearly, we've got Mega Man 8. Yeah, I don't know what it is that possessed me to plug this one in and run through it. I guess, yeah, just the fact that I was in the mood for a Mega Man game, and this one I haven't played in ages. This is like practically a blind run, only not really, because I still remember pretty much everything in the game. I played a lot of this back in the day, actually. It was like one of, one of the early PS1 games, actually, that I actually owned. So yeah, I did it. In fact, I think I, yeah, I owned this before I actually owned Mega Man X4. So yeah, for the longest time, this was my go-to Mega Man game. It has a bit of a shit reputation online. I know a lot of people think this is the worst game in the series. Um, I don't know about that. I guess we'll see. I haven't really, you know, given the game another critical look in like a really, really long time. I can't even, even run. I can't even remember if I liked this game or not last time I played it. I'm pretty sure I did. I remember the game being, like, de at, at least decent. Like, I don't know. It would have to be pretty bad, I'd say, for me to say, like, yeah, this is worse than, you know, Mega Man 1 or 2 or whatever. <laughs> oh, wow, that, that opening, uh, yeah, anime intro, though, looks real shitty. <laughs> It's like all grainy and shit, and that, sh that, that shit blew my mind back in the day, though. I loved, loved games with the big animated intros like that. Any options we need to set? Yeah, I'll... I think I want the opposite of this, thank you. Uh, yeah, all that looks good. Okay, Mega Man 8. Oh yeah, we got more anime yet to come still. Awesome. Actually, as much as I said, I like remember I remember everything about this game. Like, you know, I remember all the bosses and most of the levels. I think I remember the weakness order too. I don't actually remember anything that happens in like the an like the story-wise, like the anime cutscenes and all this. I remember a couple things that we'll probably see in the intro in a moment, but I don't remember giant space robot fights. I know who the blue one is. I don't... Or I think this purple guy's about to get destroyed. I guess let's just watch and find out. Oh yeah, I remember. I found out. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the Mega Man 8 Anniversary Edition, technically. I don't know that they ever released another edition of Mega Man 8 that was like the non-anniversary edition, but yeah. Yeah, it clearly says on the cover, Mega Man 8 Anniversary Edition. And that's the only... I'm pretty sure they never actually released another version of the game. Man, these, these anime scenes, though, look like really like pixely and shitty. Did they actually look this bad back in the day, or is it like just a... Like a PC thing, where it's like, you know, the roundedness of the CRT televisions or whatever made it not look not quite as bad. Here we go. Oh, this is great. This is what I remember. Was the dialogue always this muted compared to the background music? Don't run away, coward. You'll pay for this insult. I'll be back. <laughs> Dr. Light, what is the problem? Oh, here we go. This too. A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. A while ago. The meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the media back. Okay. <sighs> oh, that was great. 
<laughs> yeah, the voice acting. Honestly, most of the voice acting in this game isn't actually atrocious, I don't think. Like, Dr. Light is horrible. Bass is horrible. Or sorry, Bass, as we found out, was the canonical pronunciation in this game. You know what? It, it, the game audio actually seems a little bit noisy, yet I'm going to take it down just a tad. I thought that I got, like, a weapon to start off with. Like, we had the... Like the bouncy ball or something. Anyways, a lot, a lot of the sprite work in this game is actually familiar to me from Mega Man 7, which, which I actually did replay not too long ago. That's another one I think that gets kind of an unfairly bad rap. A lot of good stuff in Mega Man 7. Probably worth a playthrough on the YouTube or Twitch channels at some point. Yeah, this is what I remember. I probably should have been voice acting all that stuff. Oh well. I, ca I can't really do voices, but... Okay, yeah, you press the special weapon button, and yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I think it's actually... Like, I don't know. There's a couple bosses that are weak to this thing, and those are... Or I think there's just one boss in the Wily Fortress that's weak to this thing, and that's really annoying. It's annoying to use this thing as a weapon, but I love the fact that you can, like, bounce off it like that. Or, I think there's a speedrun trick you can actually use, even, where you can, like, fly practically. Let's see if I can... Yeah, just like that! It's like, it's kind of like bomb jumping in Super Metroid. I can't quite do it, but yeah. You can basically just, like, fly through the air. Just by dropping bombs and bouncing off them in midair. Oh, I thought he was gonna crash into that other one. Oh, but is, is he gonna crash onto the button? Hey, that's actually kind of neat. Very fancy looking game, though. I actually really like the look of this game. Um, oh, is this... Uh... Oh, no. oh, we can actually swim! Oh, I forgot about that! Yeah, I think this is brand new to the series, too. I think this is the first Mega Man game that actually lets you swim. Or, you know what? I think Mega Man and Bass actually did, too. I don't remember. Well, now that I think of it, I'm not sure which of whether that was released first or this one. Anyways, yeah, basically a bolt was that, yeah, that bolt we picked up was the only reason to go through that underground area. <clears throat> Bolts are actually work a bit differently in this game than in uh, other Mega Man games. Or I guess, really, I think bolts were only a thing starting in Mega Man 7, so... Uh, yeah, in Mega Man 7, they were like just regular power-ups that would, uh regular items that would drop from enemies and you find them littered throughout the stages. In this one, they're a bit, uh... There's fewer of them. Like, the enemies won't drop them. It's just like there's a fixed number of bolts hidden throughout the game. But you only need, like, you know, between one and four bolts to actually... Or, you know what? I bet you this guy's weak to the... I completely forget about this guy, too, actually. Oh, you know what? I can just, uh... Yeah, get grabbed. No, I can, I can actually just, uh, I wonder if that's the fastest way to do it. Yeah, we'll just do it this way. Oh yeah, that's, that's definitely his weakness. So yeah, this guy's a bit of a chump if you do it that way. Which is, you know, typical of Mega Man bosses, I suppose. Well, he's got cool theme music in this game, actually. The music in this game is actually really good, in my opinion. Or it's, it's not, you know, incredible. Or in fact, it's kind of hit or miss, I guess. There's a few tracks in this game that I really, really, really like. One of which I think we'll hear in a little bit. This is your secret base. But yeah, like, I don't think most of the voice acting in this game is actually that bad. Like, Dr. Wily actually sounds fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. Mega Man, apart from, you know, the way he pronounces Bass's name, is fine, I think. Roll, also fine. I guess that's pretty much all the characters in the game, actually. And then I guess there's Duo and Dr. Light and Bass, who are all terrible. Oh yeah, and I guess the bosses, who are actually great, most for the most part. Oh, we found a robot. I got it, Doctor. 
Like, don't get me wrong, mo oh, like all the even all the voice acting that isn't terrible is, you know, silly and cartoony, but it's fine for what it is. Like, it's not low quality or, like, poorly voiced or poorly acted or anything. 